right now on Wildlifers. Dan and Stephanie experience some of the best hunting for black bear with dogs they have ever come across. <laughs> Traveling to Idaho for a hunt with Travis Regeer at Regeer Outfitters. The days are full of action amongst this incredible landscape. Stephanie has also invited her good friend Casey McCauley for a chance to harvest her first bear ever. No matter what, you've got to keep everything in, in check. check. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, 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 oh. I knew this could be in a dangerous situation. This many people, this many dogs on the ground, I knew we needed to take the shot. Okay, there you go. There you go. There are three roads that lead to the same destination. There are three players seeking to achieve one goal. Why do I hunt? It's who I am. Where do I find the passion? It's in my blood. How do I keep going? It's what I live for. We are the Wildlifers. I have some friends in Oregon that come down hunting every year, bobcat hunting with me every year here in Texas, Art Ragsdale and Mark Armstrong. And Art actually told me on several occasions, man, you really need to go to Idaho and hunt bear with this Travis Regeer guy. His dogs are truly amazing. Finally, after hearing it for two or three years, I finally said, you know what, I think I'm going to. And we contacted Travis and got it all set up. That's kind of how that all came about. Head over here in a few minutes after we get coffeeed up and load some dogs and head over there and unload some equipment if we don't strike one before we get there and work our way around some of those old grassy roads. We'll find one somewhere. Oh yeah, oh, no doubt. Somewhere. Casey's probably for another time because we've been friends for so long and we had so many stories. We need a lot more time for that. I'm excited. Wait, wait, wait. You're always lucky to have somebody in your life that you can talk to and Casey's just one of a, a good handful of friends that I have that I lean on all the time. So when we get to hunt together, it's just, well, the shenanigans that go on, it's pretty fun. What are we doing? I What's think he's so, we're just gonna, a couple of us are gonna go right up the road here where he's seen a bunch of tracks on this road and then, okay. and then we'll come back if we don't hit anything and go someplace else. In Idaho, they tend to do what they call rigging. They put the dogs on top of the box and they sit up there and they just drive these old logging roads up in the mountains. And when the dogs smell a bear, they'll stop and let a couple of the dogs down. And if there's the scent, is runnable, then the dogs will go on and then they'll feed the other dogs into the race. If it isn't, then they'll load right back up on top of the truck and just keep going until you find a track and get down the camera. Everybody hop in someplace. Let's see if we can go get one rolling. It's gonna be so exciting. Yeah. I can't wait. After working up the mountain trail, Travis's dogs caught the strong scent of a bear and the race begins. I just love listening to that. They get so excited. I mean, he was gone. I think they're gonna come back. Watch, some of them's gonna turn it around. It's on like Donkey Kong if they stay right. Let's get down to this point. Let's go to this point. We can listen. They just caught it. They caught it. It's gonna build right there. Well, Travis's dogs are phenomenal. I mean, you can tell he has a great handle on them. His dogs are trained. They know what they're doing. They know their job, and they loved it. Got a scent. They were on it, and they were fast. It didn't take long. They were on one, and they ran it, and it was quick. Ready, Case? Here 
lot of thick brush, big boulders, deep canyons. This is no joke. Okay, so we, we took a picker out. Whenever I take somebody hunting with me, I, I like them to go first because I, I want them to be successful. And I want what they came for to really happen. So when we got to the tree, I already knew Casey was going first. That's so awesome. I'm so excited. <laughs> My first bear. And he's so pretty. <laughs> Wildlifers is brought to you by Bill Fick Ford. That's no bull. Vault Aviation, a different kind of whitetail. Barnes Precision Machine, USA made with unmatched performance. Wise Eye Tech. And Mellon Creek Outfitters, raising standards, not fences. Stephanie and Dan are deep in the mountains of Idaho hunting black bear with good friend Casey. Their guide Travis's dogs have just treated a bear and Casey is just waiting for a shot to be presented. Just think how much they got to start eating to fill out and be roly poly. Look at that. Look at that claw. Look as big as my hand. Big in your hand. Wow. Can you imagine if that got a hold of you? I don't want to know what that would do. No, kidding. I don't imagine. Those claws are sharp, razor sharp. It's a male, so that's just exactly what you want to get rid of. Yeah. Young breeding males. I've never seen a spring bear. It's the first time I've ever seen a spring bear. I've always had a fall bear. And honestly, the fall bear that I've hunted are... They've all been cinnamon, right? They have been cinnamon. It's awesome. Just amazing. Awesome. It's amazing. It is amazing. These things can kill so much, you know, to eat, because they got to eat. They kill elk, elk calves. Fine. I'm sure they'll eat off of a cow calf. Mm -hmm. So you did a good job. Just look how much we saved. It's awesome. Thank you for an amazing opportunity. Girl, this is I'm amazed. This is I just blessing came to me even. too. 
the it's hike fun down to get to here. do something like this with your best friend. Yes, it is. Casey, we have so much fun together, and we always have great laughs together. So, you know, seeing her in a kind of a tense situation where she's about to shoot a bear and seeing how she reacts and seeing how she goes through the whole process and then just the excitement of it all, it, it's... I don't know, it's just elating. I love it. I love being with her. I love doing things like that. So it was just epic getting to see her shoot her bear. I don't know, she gets so excited. It's just, it's so fun. Your dogs work perfect. They did. It was really nice to see that. It's really nice to see because that's what Dan runs, is running walkers, so they're fast. Yeah, yeah, it makes them very athletic. Mm -hmm. Durable, tough, you can hunt them every day. Like you said yesterday, hunting with dogs is one of the first forms of hunting that was ever... Yeah, it's the oldest style of hunting known to man. Mm -hmm. When man walked on this green earth and says, you know, he wanted to go catch something and the dog became domesticated, the first thing that they used was a dog to hunt with. Mm -hmm. This is the oldest form of hunting known to man, is hunting right. with dogs. It's one of the last rare, natural, awesome things left on the face of the planet because the dogs are doing what they're bred to do. Right. The animal that it pursues is bred to do what it's gonna do. And somebody's gotta win and somebody's gotta lose. Right. But this bear has a fighting chance. Yeah. It's because the dog barks don't mean he runs up a tree. Yep. Exactly. Those dogs make him. Well, yeah. And if the dogs can't make him, the bear wins. Yeah. I'll tell you what, states all around Idaho have lost the use of dogs. Bear hunting, mountain lion hunting, and other things. If Idaho did not keep check on their predators as strict as we do, we would not have a deer and elk population to worry about hunting. It, it wouldn't happen. And that I is mean, one of the points that people don't realize. Yeah, uh, and no matter what, you've got to keep everything in, in check. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people That's say, balance. well, it's nature. A bear's going to eat. It keeps them everything even. It doesn't. If this is all that they ate, you're not going to have anything else left. Right. It has to be balanced. You yeah. Know? And, and Idaho is a user-friendly state to kill predators. Buy tags over the counter, the tags aren't too bad. There's no quotas, there's no waiting, there's no drawings. And if it wasn't like that, I couldn't imagine the, the imbalance we'd have in our predator populations. Just be overrun. Yeah, mm -hmm. because we have long seasons, take seasons in this state, and we have more than enough game to choose from. This segment is brought to you by Barnes Precision Machine, USA made with unmatched performance. So we got our bear loaded up. It's all meats in the backpack, hides wrapped around the outside there. Let's go see what Mike and George are up to because we didn't need them here so they'll they'll be after another bear somewhere. And, and once we hit the top of the ridge, we should be in radio contact to see if we can get them on the radio and see what they got rolling for us. Step two of this adventure, huh? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. There was a couple of guys there, George and Mike. George was kind of the guy that got Travis started. And he just comes along to go hunting with his own dogs. And then Mike was there to help also. But it's good to have those guys around there because while we're here with this one bear getting that all wrapped up, they can say, hey, George, or hey, Mike, you guys keep driving, keep looking. That way, you know, the, the process gets sped up. You can cover more ground. You know, obviously, three different vehicles with three different sets of dogs can cover far more ground than just one. So it, it kind of hedges your bet, so to speak, you know, if, if this road doesn't have any bear shit on it, then likely that one does, and you're covering those at the same time. So anytime that you could cover three different areas simultaneously, then you're doing a lot to up your success rate. Hey, Travis is great. Yes, he this is. This is amazing country, and he knows it. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he knows the country very well. I'm excited. They, like, got this whole system, like, loaded up and everything. Now what? What are we doing? So what, what are we All right, we got everything loaded up, so we're going to go across the reservoir and look and see where George and Mike are and see if they got a bear rolling. They should have by the time we get there, so. Okay. And uh, we got yours out of the way, so let's go see if we can find yours today. That's awesome. All right. It was the best race ever. It was a good race. Oh, good it was morning, a great Yes. I mean, it's 9.30. We're back at the truck. Yeah. Ready to go. Your let's dogs do it. work so good. So well-mannered. Yeah. Varsity squad. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the other guys found a, a track, and we were on a bear in no time. It looks like a good one. Look, they're right there, literally, on the edge of the road. That never happens for you. I think where the bigger predators are concerned, the bears, the mountain lions, it is certainly the most effective way of hunting. The bigger predators, you know, if their numbers are getting too high and they're, you know, killing too many deer, killing too many elk, what have you. 
but I also kind of think there is a really good argument to be made about the fact that it could possibly be the most ethical too, because in hunting hounds for bear and lion, it's really the only form of catch and release that we get to practice other than possibly trapping, which is a 10% as effective. And that is we can tree a bear, we can tree a lion, we can walk under that tree, we can look up and go, well, that's a female. Come on dogs, let's go, just leave it be. We can do the same thing with a cub, same thing with an immature boar. It is 100% up to us whether or not we take that animal. And the dogs simply are a tool that we use to give us that ability. As Stephanie approached the tree, it was clear this was a mature bear that would be good to harvest. some of the bow, I want it to be, you know, a vital shot. I want it to hit where it needs to hit to make it a quick, clean, ethical kill. So I definitely want to hit a heart, at least for sure the lungs. You want to make sure that your placement's good. was moving around. He was nervous, he wanted down, he just kept moving around. And when he was coming down, I knew this could be in a dangerous situation. With this many people, this many dogs on the ground, I knew we needed to take the shot. He's a beautiful bear. Look at beautiful the hoof on him. Oh, I know. Look at the claws on him. Yeah. Good head, good boar. Good yep. spring boar. Congratulations, that was a good shot. You know, you had to rush awesome. that. I know. I he wanted to come down. I know, he was wanting to like good. get down. Figure out where to take one while I had it. It's funny because, you know, when he's up there, he gave us several shots and we were just kind of waiting yeah, for everything to get right. right. Yeah. And, but then he decided that he wasn't going to give us any more good ones. Yeah. You got to take what you got. That's awesome. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. Thank You're you, thank so you, welcome. thank you. His first, first spring bear. My very first spring bear. I've never killed a bear that has this much hair on him. Yeah. But we have two bears out. It's probably been lunchtime. <laughs> we get after it. I got yeah. yeah. Two bears in one morning. I don't think this hunt could have gone any better. Um, it 
far exceeded my expectations and I've been on a lot of bear hunts with some really good bear hunters but if there's one thing in this world that I do know a pretty good bit about you know at the risk of sounding arrogant which I don't mean to it's hounds and I'm here to tell you right now Travis Regeer is the best bear hunter in the United States period. This hands down was one of my favorite hunts. Uh, the dogs weren't perfect, the camaraderie between people, I felt like I was at home. It was, I don't know, hands down, probably one of my favorite hunts. I would suggest Travis Regeer and his outfitting business to anybody. There is just like any other species in that the population has to be kept in check. But first and foremost, the bear is omnivorous. He's not gonna just eat baby fawns. He's not gonna just eat people's baby lambs. He's gonna destroy crops. He's gonna destroy homes. He's gonna destroy trash cans. He's gonna destroy baby fawns, baby elk. He's gonna eat livestock. He's gonna eat dogs, cats, to the point to where he starts getting hungry enough, he'll start eating people. You know, bear is one of those unique species that can and does survive daily on anything. And if you let the numbers get to the point to where there is an ample, normal food for them, they're gonna find a way to survive and the humans aren't gonna like their version of that. Closed captioning is brought to you by Vault Aviation, a different kind of whitetail.